All right, brothers and sisters. Remember, brothers and sisters, you still have to do your own research and homework. Backdoor all of this yourself. Pray on the pray to the Most High about all of this, so that you may know the difference between a turkey and a vulture, and what families they are in, so that you won't be deceived by anyone and their thoughts and their theories and what they believe and extra doctrines that they want to add in trying to tell you that the Most High said when he didn't say, brothers and sisters. So, once you remove all these doctrines that we heard from the world, once you filter all that stuff out, the simplicity of the word will be seen, brothers and sisters. Once you remove people that's buying and selling in their ministries, making merchandise out of you, once you get them away from you, you will clearly see the lies that they've been telling all along, brothers and sisters, how they've been mixing and how they use psychology to convince you of things that's not there. It's kind of like, what the, uh, what the, what the school has been doing, indoctrinating us into its belief, false belief systems. You've been indoctrinated, brothers and sisters, as well as I. But I've repented of those things, brothers and sisters, and I renounced those things. Now, I read and I can see and I believe, brothers and sisters, and I'm not going to follow someone into the lake of fire because I think they do they do great work or do good videos. No, brothers and sisters. See the word proves itself. Once you get an idea of the vulture and his family, you won't be deceived anymore. Now regardless of what this is saying, that's irrelevant Let's go back to Leviticus 11. Let me go back up here and show you again. And these are they which shall, which you shall have an abomination among the fowls, the vulture. That's it. That's the only criteria right there, brothers and sisters. He told you the vulture is an abomination for you to eat, okay? They shall not be eaten. They are an abomination. Simple, isn't it? Now, your only job is to identify the vulture and his family. Don't even worry about that it's a bird of prey and that it scavenges. That's not the criteria of the Most High, what it eats, what it preys upon. Everything prays. Everything goes to find food. Even the clean birds that eat insects. You know what I'm saying? You have to get used to the words of the Most High over the words of man. Doctrines of men. Now the vultures are part of this family. This is the family it's a part of, brothers and sisters. Now, we need to take a look at the different species, brothers and sisters. This here is the bearded vulture right here. Take note of its body. You have to identify the characteristics of the vulture and his kind. The most I never said, look at his toes and see how many toes have gotten claws. But you can take note of his body. So when you capture, when you go bird hunting, that you won't capture this thing and eat it. You would know that this is a bearded vulture. No. Look at, look, look at the beak. 
Look at the beard. It's not bald like the other vultures. It, it, it has hair on its head. Look at the thick legs for, for grabbing, grabbing things to eat. Look at this one here. Its legs not as thick. It does have longer claws though, longer feet, toes to grab stuff with, and a curved beak for eating. And you can see the characteristics right here that looks like that, uh, that picture of the turkey I showed, but y'all gonna see that the turkey is not of this family just because it got a similar head feature right here, bald head feature, brothers and sisters. So let's go look at some more pictures of um, vultures. Okay, brothers and sisters. Now remember, we're not looking at this based on what it eats. We already understand that the most I never made that one of criteria and and it's not something that he wanted you to figure out so that you can identify it as clean or unclean as one of the brews said on my channel. No, they added to the word, brothers and sisters. So, y'all do the same work. And look, look at this vulture here. It doesn't have no tail that fans out. It is a pretty big bird. But the body style is not the same as the turkey. We're going to look at some turkeys later. Here's another species of the vulture. And you just go down the line and you, you, you start seeing what this, what the vulture family looks like, brothers and sisters. They got some differences in some of the different types. But as you keep going, you start seeing things. You start seeing things that's different. And you start saying, well, wait a minute. Yeah, this thing has some similar features, but. Just in the head type of the um, of the turkey, but everywhere else is is different, and you just keep going, y'all. You, you you feed your mind. You do this homework. Take your time. Take your time. Again, just because the head part is bald here don't mean a thing, brothers and sisters. It don't mean a thing. Look at that. I noticed something. They all got the curved beak here. Yeah, that has the drooping neck. Take note, brothers and sisters, and you, you do this homework, and you get to know the different styles, body types of the vulture and its family. And, and be not beguiled, brothers and sisters. Be not beguiled. You take your time. Now let's go to the turkey. Here's the turkey, brothers and sisters. Here's this family. Tribe. It's order, galliforms. It is of the clean animals that you can 
eat. Galliforms. And here's the pictures of the galliforms, which the quail is in this species, brothers and sisters. Galliforms is an order of heavy body ground feeding birds that includes turkeys, chickens, quails, and other land fowl. Gallinaceous birds, as they are called, are important as seed dispersers and predators in the ecosystem they inhabit and are often reared by humans for their meat and eggs or hunted as game birds. So, because this word is here, does that make it unclean? We done already discussed that the Most High never identified any of his animals, birds, fish, insects by what it eats. He never said for you to call it clean or unclean based on that criteria. He has his criteria listed plain and simple for each and every one of us to discover. We only go on to these extra lengths because a lot of y'all been bewitched. A spell been cast upon you, cunningly spells been cast upon you to believe all these other things rather than what's right here. And many people just cannot accept what's just plain right here about the beast that they should eat. They got to add to the Mosai's word and take away from it as well to believe what they want to believe lies. And it's going to happen to a lot of Hebrews. Let's go ahead and click on that. Megapod. From the Galliforms again. Let's take a look at that by itself. <coughs> Australian brush turkey, scrub turkey, or bush turkey, and it's from this family, brothers and sisters. Now, turkeys generally have this little slope thing here, or giblets, or whatever you want to call it. And they generally have uh, a tail that fans out. Let's look at some pictures of the turkey. Okay, in general, this turkey is a large bird. And remember, the Most High doesn't base clean on clean based on its toes, okay? But this is a large bird. It does have wings. And though it walks on the ground, it doesn't go on all fours. And it generally has a fan back here. And this is to divert prey or <clears throat> to elude or to startle the, anyone that's, you know, preying upon it to eat it. So it has this defenses as well brothers and sisters and yes the head of this thing has some similar similarities right here but when you get to here it's different and when you get to here it's different isn't it this is not a vulture brothers and sisters look at the bird Feathers is different. Look at it. It's easy to see, brothers and sisters. This is easy to see. Let's scroll down some more different species right here. The same thing. You can see the difference, brothers and sisters. Real, simple, easy homework, brothers and sisters. And just because the 
turkey and a chicken is eaten by heathens in any land doesn't make it unclean. Just because it's mostly on the dinner tables during Thanksgiving and Christmas doesn't make it unclean. People are making arguments out of nothing. Information is just ludicrous, brothers and sisters. Because they have they, because they have nothing else to say. They can't accept the truth that's right before their eyes. Brothers and sisters. And this is easy homework, brothers and sisters, for each and every one of you to take your time, look at the different birds, blow them up, stick with the criteria of the Most High only, and you will not be deceived, brothers and sisters. Again, this is not of the vulture family. This is not. Y'all hear what I'm saying? And we got people even wanting to uh, say that uh, I'm just worried about my belly. Or I just, I'm serving my belly. No, brother, sis, I'm serving the truth out. If it was unclean, I would get rid of it. No matter what it was, I, I got rid of all the other stuff I used to eat. Easily. Got rid of that stuff, brothers and sisters. I got rid of it. Look at this here. Turkey vulture. Just because they call it a turkey vulture. Doesn't all of a sudden make, put it in there turkey category or make the turkey in the vulture family brothers and sisters do your homework on this particular vulture which had the word turkey added to it maybe y'all figure out why they do things like that such as make a driveway in front of your house, knowing that you're not going to be driving down on it. No, you actually park. It should be called a parkway in front of your house, not a driveway that you park on in front of your house. Words are deceptive sometimes, brothers and sisters. So you were to identify the turkey. I see we done got out of um, a lot of pictures for what it is, what family is a part of, and believe on the Most High Yahuwah. You can clearly see that this bird is not of the vulture, brothers and sisters. You look at the beaks, the beaks are different, though the, there's no feathers on the head brothers and sisters though there's no feathers on the head though that's similar but when you really look at it and look at the vulture you will see these different features snap right at you brothers and sisters so enough of that. Again, I want to mention what this video is focusing on. It's whether Yah said to identify as unclean and clean animals, birds, fish, or insects by what it eats. Is the turkey in the vulture family? We don't, as you can see, it's not. Is the chicken unclean? The chicken is not unclean. 
Now, if you have a personal choice that you don't want to eat the turkey or the chicken for whatever reason, that's fine. You, 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 you don't have to eat it. Don't put it on your plate. No one is saying you have, you are being forced to put this on your plate. But sis, if you choose not to, then that's fine. Don't eat it. But don't you sit there and put words in a most high mouth and call it unclean. Y'all hear what I'm saying? So, eat of whatever clean things the Most High says to eat. Or don't eat. It's just when you open your mouth and say that what he said is a lie. That's where the problem come in, brothers and sisters. So, let's, for the rest of this particular video, we're just going to look at some birds and we're going to look at the eagle, the os ostrich, the osprey, where I looked at the vulture. We're going to look at the raven, even type of kite, the owl, the nighthawk, the cuckoo, the hawk and his family. And you're going to see if they got any pictures of chickens and turkeys in any one of these categories. So we know there's no pictures of chickens and turkeys in the vulture that we looked up or the hawk family or the buzzard family we already looked into these here so when we get to the other ones we're going to see if we see any of them pictured there brothers and sisters and then you're going to have your answer so y'all bear with me and stay on topic on what this particular video is about. All these other things that people want to shove and try to say is just them making excuses for their master that they want to believe in and upholding their idolatry against the Most High and upholding, calling the Most High a liar. Brothers and sisters, this is it. And if they are found unrepentant, at the time of their death, they go on into the lake of fire, brothers and sisters, especially for following someone else rather than the most high. So y'all bear with me and let's 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 do this. Let's complete this video. Okay, for the remainder of this series, brothers and sisters, we're gonna get into what the eagle looks like, the ostrich, and the osprey and so on and so forth so that you can get an idea of each and every one of these families so we of course like i said before we already looked at the vulture we already looked at the hawk and its kind but we're going to look up all the other ones and you're going to see for yourself it, the truth is going to just unfold on its own brothers and sisters once you peel away all the doctrines of men, all the uh, spells that's been cast on you by smooth talkers that make merchandise of you and call upon all these different type of names. Once you put away all those things, you will see clearly the plain, simple truth of the most sound fold for yourselves and you won't be beguiled again. So let's go right here. And again, we have proved that it doesn't matter what the animal, bird, fish, and insects eat, brothers and sisters. We have proved that already. That's out the way. We done proved that the turkey is not in the vulture family, brothers and sisters. And we also done proved that the chicken is not unclean now it may have other factors that make it defiled but the chicken in itself of the red jungle fowl family is not unclean period so that was the three points of this video brothers and sisters and we took out all the dross. We didn't go into all the other things that other people go into to try to prove their points. 
using all these other doctrines and we, we kept it short, we kept it simple to the point. And that point is from the Most High. Now we're going to look at each family, bird family, the remaining bird families that was called an abomination to see if the chicken and turkey is a part of those other families. So right now we're looking at the um, <clears throat> the eagle. But also I want to mention again uh, the Most High never classified any of his animals, birds, fish, insects as herbivores, omnivores, or carnivores, brothers and sisters. And um, we're going to be discovering a whole lot of doctrine that we don't believe in, brothers and sisters. And we're going to be taking those doctrines down. And you shouldn't have respect to persons when it comes to the word of the most high brothers and sisters. I see a lot of brothers and sisters out here having respect of persons rather than respecting the truth of the most high because they want to save their master that they, they are following and believing in. Uh, you, you're going to find a lot of people that you're not going to be able to save. You're going to have to expose them for what they are and who they are. Whether you want to believe it or not, and if you choose not to believe, that's between you and the Most High. My job is done. Okay, let's look at the eagle. Bald eagle right here. You can see what this bird looks like. Got the little beak. Of course, it has its huge claws to claw its food. And a beak shape the way it is so that it may eat its food that it captures. And again, uh, if you want to say this is a bird of prey, that's fine. That's what it does. It was made. It's a good thing that it does what it does. I'm not going to down that portion. But when you get into saying that this bird is unclean because of what it eats, that's when you go off from the Most High Yahuwah. And you start making up your own doctrines. Like washing your hands before you eat. Though it's a good thing and a good practice, brothers and sisters. It's a good practice when you come out from the field or working on a oily car. To wash your hands and get cleaned up before you go around just shaking hands. And offending people like that. That's a good practice. Okay. It's a good practice, but it's not in the laws of the Most High. It's a good thing not to eat after changing oil as well without washing your hands. You don't want to ingest oil or get oil all on your sandwich or whatever you're eating, right? You don't be sitting at the dinner table touching things, getting oil grease all over the table and all over silverware and all over things as you're walking and touching on tables and chairs. It's a good practice, right? And it's fine. It's a good practice. But don't say, thus say if the Most High said it. That's, a, that's all. Flying Eagle here, brothers and sisters. Let's go on. Let's see if we can find any other species here. Uh, it's another species of eagle here and its family. And we just kind of got to keep searching here until we find different pictures of the eagle and different types of eagles. Brothers and sisters, like this one here. It's a different type of eagle. And, of course, it's going to have large claws because it needs to grab its uh, prey on the ground or grab its food on the ground. And look at that big, big beak. And it has that curve right there as well. 
So we're identifying the different types of egos as we can see by pictures provided to us. Here's a golden eagle right here. You see that same big, big claws. Body not as thick like a turkey. So, of course, the chicken and turkey is not a part of this particular family, brothers and sisters. And you can go on and research more egos and, and what it looks like so you won't capture it in the wild if you're going bird hunting. Here is the ostrich. Uh, that's the bearded vulture. Let's click on that. The bearded vulture is also called the ostrich. Looks nothing like a turkey, does it? Or a chicken. So again, look at um, these pictures. <clears throat> of these different classifications of the ostrich brothers and sisters now they got other pictures in here <laughs> as you can see ostrich which is the bearded vulture look at the bearded vulture it's It's of the, um, as you can see, the ostrich is of the vulture family, isn't it? Let's continue to identify. Here's another bearded vulture. And this one has different names, brothers and sisters, but it's the same bird of the same family. And let's go right here and scroll down to Wikipedia. It's of the, the bearded vulture, which is the ostrich, Gypatus. Barbatus. Wow. And it's of the lineage of the Ancipa trader. So, yeah, the turkey and chicken wouldn't fit up in there, brothers and sisters. Now, let's look at the osprey. Looks like another hawk or an eagle. We got claws, curved beak these eyes look at the family the different types brothers and sisters turkey and chicken definitely not going to be uh, up in this family of birds but as we can see uh the osprey and its family yes it eats fish brothers and sisters we don't know what type of fish that is but whatever it is that wouldn't classify it as unclean because it's eating it it don't matter if that's a catfish or a cod or whatever that is eating that is not why it is classified as unclean. It's classified as unclean because the Most High said it is unclean for you to eat. Period. Look at this. Very simple, easy task, brothers and sisters, for us to go through and look at the different birds in this classification and this family. And you clearly see that the turkey and the chicken is not in there either. So that knocks out all four of these categories. The eagle, the ostrich, the osprey, and the vulture. Actually five. We looked at the hawk as well. 
So I think the kite is also part of the vulture, but let's go look that up. Y'all bear with me. Before you know it, this is going to be over with. Brothers and sisters, thank y'all for tuning in this far and uh, sticking with the word of the Most High directly without anything added, brothers and sisters. And we looked out some other things uh, that needed to be looked up because someone beguiled you and bewitched you and got you food and deceived and, and tricked you into believing other things that the Most High didn't say. And it's up to you to admit it. So that the Most High can bring the correction. Confess. Then repent. And let him lead you into the right way of his word. So here is the kite bird right here. We're going to look at the kite and his family. This is the kite. It also has a curved beak. Now, again, they, they're calling it a bird of prey because it catch, catches uh, animals and rodents. And and it has these claws to, to swoop down and grab it. And again, that doesn't make it clean or unclean. Just because it, it it's designed to do what it does. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But. That classification of what it eats or what it captures to eat doesn't make it clean or unclean. Look at these different birds, y'all. Of this family. Again, as you can see, the turkey and the chicken does not fit into this particular family. Let's click on all of the kite family. And let's see what family is it a part of. Wait a minute. Uh, okay. Clicked on all. It should have showed something. Oh, here it is. Wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, here we go. The kite is a part of the family of Ancipatrida. And we heard that word before, haven't we? And we know that the turkey and the chicken is not a part of the kite family, brothers and sisters. Easy peasy. Let's move on to the raven. And we know that the chicken and the turkey is not a part of this family. But you do need to know what the raven looks like in the family of ravens. Oop. So they got all this other stuff on here. Okay. And we can just scroll down. And you can see different types right here, brothers and sisters. Here's a picture of the family. Corinda. The crow. And the raven seems to be a part of this family right here. Birds. Wow. I still don't see no chicken and turkey a part of this family, brothers and sisters. So. Real easy homework. Real easy. Again, the most I said. These are they which you shall have an abomination among the fowls. They shall not be eaten. They are an abomination. That is it. No 
go at it, that they're birds of prey, they're omnivores or carnivores or no at it, or it depends on what they eat or whatever their diet is. None of that stuff is here. And it wasn't meant for you to figure out and say this, that, and the other. Put words in the Most High's mouth, brothers and sisters. The Most High just says, simply obey my word. And don't eat these birds. Plain and simple. Let's go back. Let's go on to the owl. And of course, now y'all know the turkey and chicken don't fit into this category. But let's just look at different types of owls. You need to pause at any moment. Go ahead. It's plain and simple to see the different types of owls here and their features and what it looks like. You cannot mistake the owl, even though it's various types. Various types here. The owl and his family cannot be mistaken. But let's click on all. This is a real easy one here. Uh, here's its family, right? Wait a minute. The true or typical owl family, Strigida, and the barn owl family, Titonida. Wow. So, most definitely, uh, the owl and its kind. Uh, has nothing to do with the turkey and the chicken, as y'all can see. So we looked at the hawk, we looked at the owl, let's go look at the cormorant, and then we can get into the swan, the pelican, the gear eagle, stork, and heron. Okay, we forgot one, which is the cacao, then we get to the cormorant. Okay, here's the cacao. So we want to go over the cacao and its family so that you can get an idea of what it looks like. And you won't go off in the wild capturing it and eating it, brothers and sisters. And though it has different types of species, you can get a general idea of this particular bird. And it's different shape and it's different uh, body style or it's different feathers uh, and, and colors. And here's another one right here. Cacolida cacoos. Now this says cacoo. And we're looking for the, I don't know if the cuckoo is the same as the cacao. Let's go over here and search Wikipedia. Now it's saying cuckoo. So I'm assuming it's the same thing, cacao. Brothers and sisters, because I typed up what it says here. And it's of the Kukulida family, Kukuliforms, brothers and sisters. And this particular bird is unclean. Okay. So. You got a little look at what this particular bird and some of its family members looks like. And as you can see, the turkey and the chicken is not in this family either. So let's move on to the cormorant. Here's the cormorant. Look at the many different cousins. <laughs> Uh, family members of the cormorant brothers and sisters and 
and of course y'all need to go in depth on this on your own Kind of remind you of a duck almost, huh? But except for the beak. It's, uh, likes to play in the water, swim in the water, or float in the water. Trying to get a good picture of the feet. It looks like it's webbed here. Uh, yeah. Looks like webbed feet from here, brothers and sisters. Okay, we've seen these pictures. Let's go to the uh, family. Let me see here. I think that's the family right there. Fella, Crow, Corax, Carba. But we need to be sure, right? Let's keep scrolling. Okay, it doesn't show it, so let's put in Wiki. Okay, here it is. The Fella, Crow, Cora, Cita, or Acida is a family of approximately 40 species of aquatic birds commonly known as cormorants and shags okay let's move on to the swan and according to what it says there the swan is unclean Now, from another source, um, they were saying that the swan was a clean bird. But let's see if we can find its family. What family is a part of it? Okay. Swans are birds of the family Anatida with the genus Cygnus. The swan's closest relatives include the geese and ducks. Swans are grouped with the closely related geese in the subfamily and Serena, uh, and Serena where they form the tribe Cygnini. Sometimes they are considered a distinct subfamily of the Cyg Cygnina. There are six living and many extinct species of swan. So, let's investigate right here. Uh, let me click on that. Let's look at this family. Duck, geese. So the question would be, is the duck and the geese unclean? Well, it is part of the swan, brothers and sisters. So, this is some extra homework you have to do on the swan to make sure that they translated this correctly. And uh, you have your answer, whether the geese and the duck because some people are uh, calling the geese and the duck clean. Uh, and that's why they are, you know, saying the swan is clean. And that maybe this is a mistranslation. So this is one that you do your own homework on, but it's just separately. So let's get into the pelican again. Okay, here's the pelicans. There's no mistake in the pelican family. 
brothers and sisters. And again, it's not based on what it eats that it's unclean. It's because the most I said that it was unclean, an abomination to you to eat. So this is a real easy one right here. And as you can tell, the chicken and turkey is not a part of that family either. But let us go to all and take a look. Let's see if they have anything related. Wiki. Thank y'all for bearing with me, brothers and sisters, as we go over each one, proving all things by the Most High's word, brothers and sisters. His word stands alone. It doesn't need no help. You just have to believe in him first. Everything else is just second or uh, an add-in. Okay, the pelican is part of the Pelicanida family, brothers and sisters. Pelicanida family. Let's click on that. Pelicanida family. And this pretty plain cut and dry, brothers and sisters. So let's just move on to the gear eagle. Images for the gear eagle. So you can identify this particular bird in its kind. So look at this. Look at this. Look at this. And we just keep on scrolling down. Wait a minute. Where did that come from? <laughs> so let's click on all and let's go to. I might have to click on wiki again. Oops. It seems that the gear eagle is also called the Egyptian vulture from the Neophron Perknopterus per family, brothers and sisters. So let's click on the Egyptian vulture here. Yeah, it's part of that particular family, the uh, Ancipat. Trida, and we heard that name before, brothers and sisters. And the orders and sipa and sipa triforms. Wow. Now, even though it says this here is the a scavenger vulture, and uh, we still have to look at it as a good uh, a good bird doing the job that is designed to do by the Most High, regardless of what it eats, brothers and sisters. And we're not to put down that particular bird and start calling it names and what we did in the world, come out of the world, put on the ways of the Most High. So there you have it, brothers and sisters, the Egyptian vulture which is also called here Gear Eagle. Now let's look at the stork. There's no mistake in the family of storks, is there? You can clearly see the characteristics of this thing, of this bird, and its different family members. Let's scroll down. And of course, you can do more homework, brothers and sisters, on your own. You could take one bird every day, if you so choose, of 
this list, brothers and sisters, and get a good idea by doing the same things that I'm doing here. You can go more in depth, but stick with the criteria of the Most High, brothers and sisters. Okay, what's going on here? Having some problems. Okay, my internet is back, brothers and sisters, so you can easily tell the stork. Now, let's see what family's a part of. The Cyclone Duh. <laughs> Duh. Family. And this order of Cyclone forms. And it's related to herons, flamingos, and ibises. Brothers and sisters. So, uh, we don't have to look up the heron next. But we are going to look up the lapwing and the bat next. Brothers and sisters. So, let's do that. And close this thing out. Alright. Here's the lapwing and it's... Uh, family its family is the Cheradrida and it's from the tri Cheradrida forms and now let's go look at some images of this particular bird lapwing here's the lapwing bird and its family, brothers and sisters. Real easy to see the different types and colors and styles and head feature of this particular bird. Different families here. And this is, seems like to be a key feature of the lapwing is this piece of, couple of pieces of hair that's sticking up <laughs> on his head. Wow. Mosai made some beautiful creatures, didn't he? Beautiful fowl. Wow. Mask lapwing bird. <laughs> okay, brothers and sisters, y'all do this same type of homework. And as you can see, so far we haven't found no chicken and no turkey being a part of any of these birds we've been looking up. Now let's finally look at the bat. The bat. Its class is Mammalia, clad Scrotophera, Mega Chiroptera, brothers and sisters. But anyway, bats are mammals, but it is still a flying creature, brothers and sisters. It is a mammal. It's a flying thing, and it crawls as well. It has, it has these arms attached to its wings. Let's, let's get a better picture of the bats. Okay, this is the bat after its family and kind. Brothers and sisters. Wow. And as you can see. Uh, 
the, the different characteristics and features of the bat, brothers and sisters. And this is a wing, but it almost seems like fingers as well, brothers and sisters. But in a way, it uh, does crawl when it's on the ground or it uses this part to crawl with this feet here and this 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 here almost acts like hands of of a sort but it's actually wing actually this is actually a wing brothers and sisters not actually a hand so i'm corrected on that one there brothers and sisters that this here is a hand uh, a wing and it does crawl on all fours as well brothers and sisters but again you see all this stuff of Batman in here <laughs> But as you know, the chicken and turkey is not of this family. <laughs> so, brothers and sisters, we done did our homework, did our research uh, on every one of these here. And I still haven't found the chicken and turkey of even pictured in any one of these here brothers and sisters and again if you go right here it says all fowls all birds that creep going upon all four shall be an abomination to you that's going upon all four y'all hear what i'm saying going upon all four that is not a chicken and it's not a turkey so, to close out, we have proved our point. Number one, the Most High Yah didn't identify unclean and clean animals, birds, fish, or insects by what it eats. Number two, we proved that the turkey is not in the vulture family. And we proved that it was in a clean family. We proved that the chicken is also of a clean family and it is not unclean brothers and sisters and we prove that all this other stuff that people are adding to the word has taken our minds away from the most high y'all was clear uncut word but sisters and you can also read deuteronomy chapter 14 to confirm his word brothers and sisters and what he says Make you a chart, a lift, a graph, whatever you need to do. Uh, start treating the most highest animals as if they were good. Every last one, even the swine. Take all that nastiness out of your mouth. Those unclean things you say about um, the swine or those uh, words. All these other things that we done picked up to say about the swine, such as that is a nasty, filthy, dirty animal. It, 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 it's made the way it was made by the Most High. He said it was good. Let's stop doing these things, but stop, let's stop following everyone else in the world and these Babylonian doctrines. Let's stop following all these other things from science that people are adding to this here. And let's just follow the Most High Yahuwah. Come back to His ways, y'all. And be ye separate. Be ye separate from amongst them. These are all good animals and fish and birds and insects and creepy crawling things. That the Most High has made to do its job on the earth. And he separated the clean from the unclean. And that's all you need to learn 
is what is clean to eat and what is unclean to eat, brothers and sisters. And you go about identifying each category of clean beasts you can eat, clean fish you can eat, clean fowl you can eat, or bird you can eat, and the clean insects you can eat. Y'all hear what I'm saying? And then the rest you don't eat. But there's no need to put down your brother or your sister for wanting to eat a clean thing that was made clean by the Most High. Brothers and sisters. And if you choose not to eat the chicken or turkey because you just don't want to eat it, that's fine. If you say, I don't want to eat it because it it ate, it eats mice, that's your business. Don't eat it because it eats mice. That's fine. But when it comes to saying that because it eats a mouse, it is unclean, that's where you err and fall into uh, sinning against the Most High, putting words in his mouth, adding to the book, and also idol worship if you heard it from someone else. Now someone else convince you of these things. So with that, brothers and sisters, I'm going to say shalom. I pray that y'all learned something. Your eyes are and your ears were open during this video. And that um, you start seeing more and more all the false teachers that are on here. Twisting and adding right before your faces. Says, so sit down at the dinner table. Study the word of Yahuwah. Between you and him, let his spirit come into you and guide you into all truth, and you won't be deceived. His word is simple. It's a man who make it hard. With that, I'm going to say shalom.